Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about the config settings for running MGS4 on the RPCS3 emulator. Before I begin, you must know that everything I say in this video is based on my experience, so it might not work the same for you. Anyway, let's begin. The first tab is the CPU tab which has the following settings. PPU decoder and SPU decoder. Both should be the default LLVM recompiler. Enable Thread Scheduler improves performance on Ryzen CPUs, so leave it on if you have one. Lower SPU thread priority might help performance if you have a CPU with a low amount of cores, like an i3 or an old i5. Enable SPU Loop Detection. I would leave this off because in my experience this introduces a lot of sound stuttering. SPU cache should always be on. Xfloat accuracy, leave it on loose for better performance. TSX instructions, if the game is always crashing for you, try putting this on disabled. In my case, the game would always crash if this was enabled. SPU block size, you can put it on mega or a giga to gain a little performance. Preferred SPU threads, for this setting you need to play around with this number and find what works best for you. In my case, 3 seem to get the best performance without stuttering. My CPU has 6 threads, so try setting this to half as many threads as your CPU has and adjust from there. Now, let's move on to the GPU tab. The first option is Render. You should always use Vulkan, it's the most stable option and the fastest. Graphics device should obviously be the GPU you want to use. Aspect Ratio, you should just leave it at 16 by 9. Frame Limit, make sure you set it to 60 because if it runs above that you're gonna have glitches. An Isotropic Filter, you can set it to whatever you want. Default Resolution, this option is not rendering resolution, it's the display resolution that the game thinks your TV is on. You should always leave it at 720p. The resolution scale is the one you should change if you want to play at a higher resolution than the native resolution of the game. Note that the number displayed under the slider is assuming that the game's native resolution is 720p, but MGS4's native resolution is 1024 by 768 so that number is not accurate for MGS4. Resolution scale threshold is an option for solving glitches, just leave it at the default 16 by 16. Right color buffers. This one's very important to leave on to solve a bunch of visual glitches. Strict rendering mode. Make sure the game is rendered as close to the original as possible so no resolution scaling is possible with this. Just leave it off. V-Sync is up to you if you want to use it or not. Just like other PC games it, it removes screen tearing but adds input lag. Stretch to display area is self-explanatory, I would leave it off. Disable vertex cache is for solving glitches, you can leave it off. Multi-threaded RSX can improve performance on CPUs with a higher core count, so you can try turning this on if you want. And finally, disable async shader compile. Leave this option off, otherwise it's going to stutter a lot when compiling shaders. Moving on to the audio tab, there's not a lot to this one, just the audio buffer duration which might make the audio out of sync with the video if it's too large. After that, I'm going to skip the next three tabs, IO, System and Network because there's nothing that needs to be changed in those. So let's go straight into the Advanced tab. This tab has some of the most important settings such as Relaxed Z Cool Sync which improves performance a lot, so leave it on. Driver Wake Up Delay. This setting can make the game more stable and avoid crashing. If the game is crashing a lot for you, you need to increase 100 microseconds here and test the game again. If you increase this too much, you will affect the performance though. In my case, 100 microseconds already works fine, so you shouldn't need to increase it too much. And finally, V-Blank Frequency. This setting is very important because it improves performance a lot and makes the game playable in 60 FPS in some parts. You need to set this to a high number like 240 Hz or even above. 
So there you have it. These are the settings I use for MGS4. The rest is all set to the phone. If you have a good enough CPU and you use the settings, I believe you can play MGS4 from beginning to end with almost no issues. If you have a DualShock 3 controller, the experience is even better. I hope you liked the video and have some fun playing MGS4 using the RPCS3 emulator. Thanks for watching. Thank you.